Well, the agency that employs Christopher Didi has been plagued with management problems, staffing shortages, and a lack of training facilities, according to a recent federal audit. New tonight, Key ITV4's Kyoki Kerr reports one of Didi's neighbors in the Washington, D.C. area came to his defense today in an interview with our news partner, CivilBeat.com. Whatever's happened, it's, you know, it's, I don't, it's, not, it's not of his, but it's not of his making. Definitely not. That's just not, that's just not who Chris is. Michael Spires says he's known Christopher Didi for six years. For the past two years, he's lived right below Didi and his wife in this Arlington, Virginia apartment complex. What a stand-up guy. You know, he, he's just very well liked in the neighborhood, never any problems. Uh, he and his wife, Stephanie, have a wonderful relationship. The federal agent is on administrative leave after posting $250,000 bail. He's charged with second-degree murder and using a firearm in the commission of a felony. The State Department is not commenting on the investigation, but has confirmed that Didi was in town to support security measures for foreign dignitaries during APEC. A November 2009 federal audit of the Bureau of Diplomatic Security, which employs Didi, found the Bureau has been hindered by staff shortages and has a hard time finding enough qualified candidates. The audit found other problems, such as inadequate facilities, language deficiencies, and experience gaps. In testimony before Congress in June, a State Department official said the agency's diplomatic security training center facilities are overcrowded and in need of repair hampering operations. Here's one makeshift solution. The Bureau placed tape on the floors of its garage to simulate walls of a building to conduct training about how to enter a room. And its firing range is small, and some of its firing range lanes, like the one on the left, are broken and not usable. Now, tonight, we don't know about Christopher Didi's employment experience with diplomatic security, how long he'd been employed there, and whether he's had any incidents in his work history. And the State Department has declined to speak about Didi's previous assignments. Back to you.